It's not very much light in here. Well, that's better. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Vlogmas. I'm officially throwing my hat in the ring. I'm gonna be trying, trying, bear with me, um, to do the whole Vlogmas thing. I've been on YouTube for two, almost two years now, I think, two and a half. And I've seen people do Vlogmas, I've watched them, and I've, I thought it's a really cool idea. So if you're not familiar with it, Vlogmas is basically 25 videos uh, all leading up to Christmas, hence the name Vlogmas. And everybody has a different way of doing it. So some people do daily vlogs, some people do like just a video every single day for that 25 days, but various topics. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So you guys will see um, workout videos, you guys are gonna see maybe recipe videos, of course, daily vlogs, um, Q and A topics, which I think I'm really excited about. So if you have any specific topics you want me to touch on during Vlogmas, leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited, it's gonna be a good challenge. It's gonna be hard because it's 25 videos in 25 days. That's one video every single day for 25 days. You guys might not realize if you're not on YouTube that um, putting together videos is actually really tough to do consistently, especially if you're actually editing them and rather um, not just uploading something and putting it on YouTube. If you're putting any effort into it, um, it takes a good amount of time and I'm not a big channel. I don't get any money from it. Maybe like, 50 bucks every six months or something, but yeah, so I'm gonna be doing vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoy Of course, like I said, if you have any topic recommendations or questions leave them in the comments below and I will be sure and include them in the next 25 days Hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome to December and let's get started with vlogmas <laughs> y'all um accountability check-in i um have been on track <laughs> accountability um i did really well over thanksgiving and over the weekend um i had no struggles with food on thanksgiving i didn't track uh, as you guys might have seen the video my full day of eating from thanksgiving i didn't track i ate a ton i definitely ate way over my intake um and then friday i just picked right back up, back with my macros, back in the gym, 
everything went back to normal. So it was really cool over the years to feel that mentality shift. Um, last year I had just come out of my show and I think I stayed pretty darn consistent over the holidays, but it was afterwards that I struggled because my body was just telling me to gain body fat. Um, but previously I turned Thanksgiving as an excuse into to, to binge, to just binge for about three days straight. I would eat a ton, I would feel awful, uh, my stomach would hurt, then I would eat way more, and then the Friday and Saturday after we'd have leftovers and I would just keep eating, and then come Monday I would feel terrible, I'd be like five pounds up on the scale, which of course that's not the main focus here, um, but I would let that discourage me. And then I would be back in the gym and I would be killing myself with cardio and all these extra things, trying to work off all of the stuffing and all of the pies and whatever I ate. Um, and then I would just jump back into that cycle come Christmas time. So it's really cool to see that mentality shift that I have been able to go through over the years where this year I had Thanksgiving. I didn't focus only on food as delicious as it was. Um, I enjoyed it. And then Friday I moved on with my life and just kept working, you know, focused on my consistency. And I um, rambled a little bit on my Snapchat today about um, not letting the holidays be an excuse for you to not be consistent. Because you can 100% make progress during the holidays. Um, and how you can do this is just by enjoying it, but keeping your goals in mind. So on holidays, the actual day of say, your celebration, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, if you're celebrating Christmas or New Year's, on the actual day or whenever you get together with friends and family, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't build it up into this big binge fest. Just let it be what it is. Eat your food. Enjoy it. Focus on the company that you're with and let it be that. Leave it at that day. Don't let the next day you know, don't let it spill over into the next day thinking, oh, I've already blown my diet. Let me just finish all this food in here. It doesn't have to be that way. I promise you will survive. If you don't binge out for two days straight, you're going to feel a lot better in the gym. Your mentality is going to be a lot better. You're not going to be all bloated and lethargic. Um, one day on, so on Thanksgiving, I ate a lot. Um, and I think I might have been maybe like one and a half, two pounds up. That's it from Thanksgiving. I've never seen that little of a difference in the scale. And that just shows me that I listened to my body. Yes, I ate a little extra and I'm going to be retaining a little bit water, a little bit of water for a few days, but I can guarantee that that's going to go back down to where it's been by this weekend. Um, so I'm not going to stress about it. And you can do that. I promise you can do that. Um, but it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of time and it takes a 100% mind shift. You cannot see food as the enemy. You cannot see exercise as punishment and you just have to turn this into a lifestyle. Um, and if you're struggling with that, feel free to email me. I do offer online coaching. Um, if you need accountability for the holidays, if you need somebody just to kind of cheer you on to keep getting in the gym, even if it's just that, even if your diet is crap, even if you don't, you know, stay consistent on that, just doing something that you might have not done before um, and seeing if you can handle these holidays with a more balanced and healthy mindset than you did the last, then that's progress to me. Um, so yeah, feel free to email me. My information's below. Um, I do offer online coaching and I think the holidays, as much as you should enjoy them, you should also enjoy fitness and health as a lifestyle. Um, and I, I definitely believe that you can make progress through the holidays, but it's not going to be in the way that you think. You're not going to have to stick to this crazy restrictive diet. You're not going to have to spend hours and hours in the gym. It's just finding what you can actually make work. And then once the holidays are over, you're already going to be that much further ahead than before the holidays started. So think of it that way. Um, rant over. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for clicking on this video, by the way. I hope you all enjoyed the leg workout. Um, give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think of that leg workout. I just finished my shoulders and back workout, and I'm going to go back to Matt's office. I'm going to work for a little bit, um, and then I have to go to the grocery store. So I will see you guys later.